All right, I'm going to talk to you about Fake, which is a F Sharp uh, DSL that allows you to write make files in F Sharp. Uh, and this is a pretty common pattern. Uh, a lot of languages have this. Ruby has Rake, which is Ruby make files. Uh, PowerShell has Saki, which is PowerShell make files, and for some reason doesn't rhyme with make, but it, you know, it's one of the things you learn when you get into Saki that it's a little bit different. And as we saw mentioned earlier today, Cake, which is C Sharp make files. Uh, but I'm going to focus on F Sharp make files. It's uh, the most, my most favorite one that I've worked with so far. Uh, and the three main topics I'm going to hit with it are how to set up build targets, so the actual code that runs your build script, how to set dependencies between your build targets, and then touch on some of the helper code that comes with the fake libraries that does a lot of the magic for you in your build scripts. So now we're jumping into Visual Studio Code. And this is a very common setup for your build file, which would be a shell file or a command file in Windows uh, that would run a NuGet command to download fake and then run another command to actually run fake against your build script. I am going to comment this line out because I've already downloaded it and I don't want to do that during the demo. Uh, and I've got a simple uh, fake file here. So I uh, open the fake libraries. I have three targets, one named init, one named clean, and one named build. I'm not doing very much right now. They're just spitting some output out. And they have the dependency defined here. So build de depends on clean, depends on init. Uh, one thing that's kind of nice about fake is because you can overload operators in F Sharp pretty easily and create new ones, they have a lot of these operators that do things for you that normally would be method calls that you would spend a lot of code writing them out. And then I have a command to just run a target if it's passed in, or if nothing's passed in, default to build. Uh, so I'm using code, and I have the ionide plugin for fake. One minute. One minute. Uh, so then if I type in fake, I can go to build de default, and you get a nice output of uh, what the dependency graph was and the timing for all of those. So those are pretty empty, so I'm going to switch over to a build script that actually builds a project, one you may have heard of called script CS. So I've got a couple uh, tasks here, one that actually calls out to restore packages, one that calls out to MS build, which will actually call xbuild on Mac. And if I run this, it should actually go through and build everything. So a lot of the stuff that's built in, like MS build release, will do stuff for you, like xbuild or uh, MS build, you can call out the in unit or X unit or other projects like that. I actually have testing working, but it was commented out because uh, a couple of the tests failed on my machine. Uh, and then you have other scripts that you can do, like uh, create NuGet packages. There's a lot of built in NuGet support or built in support for tools like Octopus Deploy or Team City. So you can see here that I have pattern matching set up for if I am running through Team City, use the version that comes with Team City. Uh, otherwise, just use this made-up version I have. 